Hi, today we're talking about hooking up a DSLR camera to the iOptron Smart EQ Pro. We're going to show you three different ways we can do this via just hooking up the DSLR camera to one of the dovetail plates, hooking up the DSLR camera to the dovetail plate with an auto guider, and hooking up a telescope to the Vixen dovetail plate with auto guiding and hooking up the camera to the telescope. Let's get started. So the first one is your basic dovetail plate to the camera. Very simple. Dovetail plate, camera, you're going to need a quarter twenty hex bit hex wrench. I'm going to do a slide the quarter twenty into there. Make sure it's square along the back. And you're just going to drive it through. Pretty straightforward. I like to do it sideways, makes it a lot easier. Then from there, put on the lens of your choosing. Let's pop this guy off here. Let's go ahead and pop on a 50 millimeter. And there you have it. Nice wide field shot. With this setup right here, I can capture the whole Orion constellation in one shot very easily with room to spare. Now this setup here is the setup that I use more often is with an auto guiding setup and a longer focal length lens. The reason why I typically don't use an auto guiding system for the 50 millimeter setup is because well <laughs> the focal length is more forgiving. So to begin with this setup I like to take my camera and I set it up on the right hand side of the dovetail plate. And I use a hole, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. I don't have a monitor on the camera that I'm filming with, but there's a nice little step down, easy for the quarter 20 to go all the way through. And I start tightening down with that, use my hex wrench. I'm going to get it almost all the way tight. Make sure the camera is square to the dovetail plate before fully tightening it down. Camera's on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a gap because I have this control panel here between the guider and the camera. This allows me to place my USB cable into the camera while still having room between the two. I'm going to flip over the whole thing so I can see the hole. And I'm going to be using this hole right here. Again, placing my quarter 20 hex bolt into there using the hex wrench long ways this time to make it a lot easier for me. Make sure that the auto guider is straight as I can get it. Tighten down there. Tighten down here. Now this is the setup that I use most often when going out and shooting. Place my Canon 250mm lens right on top, extend it. It will be front heavy, but it's not too much where it's going to take the tracker out of balance. And last and finally, we're going to be attaching this telescope, which I have already attached to this dovetail plate here. We have a T-ring. 
that's what it's called this one is to adapt to a Canon EF lens mount go ahead and take off the cover here we're gonna place this straight right onto the camera there now this is a one and a half or one and a quarter inch adapter here and it slots directly into the telescope there's a thumb screw here on the bottom of this particular telescope attaches down now we're ready to shoot with a telescope